Hello and welcome, I'm Emily. Today we're going to be playing more of Animal Inspector. Now last time we got two bad endings <laughs> because I am an un unlucky bastard. Um, so we actually, we got fired because we had too many strikes. And then we got uh, stuck in the cages for all of eternity and our dog actually took over our job as a human. Uh, which is, you know, it was fun. So today I wanted to try to see what the other- uh, if I could get another ending on that one part where I go to the cages and he's talking to me about the stuff and things. We'll see, you'll see. I'll get to it and then we'll figure it out. I'm trying to replicate all the answers I gave last time, which I think was those answers. I guess you notice there's something funny going on. Well, I'll explain a few things. I have to sneeze. <sighs> I need to get my tissues. What I mean by that is that Alan wasn't always- <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to keep it loud the way he is. Now I could say yes. I think I'm gonna say yes and just go along with it all Because I was irritating him before and I don't want to go down that path again So I'm just gonna say yes. Great. I'm glad. Oh, but hold up for a sec I just wanted to say you've been a good employee. You haven't caused much trouble. This bone ain't rocking <laughs> um, Well, anyways, I heard you have a have a dog. I do I think I can pull a few strings. Ah, that dog will be just fine. I don't think you need to worry. Dot dot dot. Really? Not even a thank you? I was really sticking my neck out there for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, well, you know what? Maybe I've changed my mind. No, that dog's toast! I mean, not actually toast. Weird expression. Consider it rejected though. No! I've got no patience for people without manners. Why did I do that? I didn't know what the dot 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 meant. I didn't know it had those implications. And look, now we have another bad ending. I am the worst person. I am the worst person in the world. Now I have to play the entire game over again to get to that part. <laughs> What? Okay, so I could go the easy route and just agree with everything that he says and get my dog approved. Or I can toe the line a little bit. So I think I'm gonna toe the line until just before when I got hit with the cages. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna question it a little bit. Just you know, mess with his head a little bit. So that does not make sense. It'll all be worth it in the end. I think this was the part where I said really and that was the bad idea, so I'm gonna say yeah. Yeah. Glad you finally come around. Okay, but hold up for a sec. Oh, okay, so I towed the line. It didn't really matter if I towed the line. I just wanted to say you've been a good employee. You haven't caused much trouble. The bone ate rocking. Anyways, I heard you have a dog. I think you- yeah, yeah, yeah. Great! You don't need to worry. Great! No problem. Happy to do it. Keep up the good work out there. Is that the whole thing? Is that the end? That's the good ending? I think that's the good ending. Oh, oh no, now it's showing all the animals that I killed. <laughs> I didn't really need to reject those ants, I realized after I did it. I was like, oh, I already rejected the angry dog. I was just doing my job, man. All the sacrifices I made to save my own dog. I see what you're doing. I see you're trying to make me feel guilty. You can't make me feel guilty about it, it's my dog. Otherwise, my dog would replace me. I know the- I know the potential- Oh, look at me, I got- Whoa, sunlight right there. I know the potential- The- The cost versus the- sh Shut your face! <laughs> I know what I sacrificed to make it happen. You don't need to make me feel guilty. Do you know- uh, Do you like all my- My notes are really bad this time? Good! Great! Wise dog. <laughs> I was just like, I don't care. But I know if you if you say something that's not if you just put gibberish in, he gives you a strike for it. I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah. But that's so quick. That was so quick because I mean, in in my time, that took 20 minutes. But in your time, that was a good you know maybe five minutes. So, I think we're gonna try to do the be a complete asshole version. Um, which means being mean to Martha, which means killing Alan, which means basically being as corrupt as physically possible. Um, rejecting all of the cats, including Martha's cat. You know, just being an asshole, being a big old asshole. And, uh, this light might bother me. I think it's gonna, you know, yeah, what are you doing? Son. I was saying son as in like, son, yo, but actually son. <laughs> Let me, I'll fix it. So we're gonna do the be an asshole ending, because otherwise this just feels like a very boring video. So we're gonna do the be an asshole root, I should say. So I need to actually get my keyboard. I will make everyone suffer but you, because I am a horrible person, a horrible human being. 
Yeah, cool. I'm so super stoked to be doing this job. Yeah, sure. Because I love killing animals. He seems nice. You think so too, right? Yes, yes, he's the best boss ever. Yes, a good boss, I think. Well, it seems our day is about to begin. I can't remember what her voice is. She's an old lady Martha. There we go. Okay, it is go time to go inspect some animals. Okie dokie. We'll chat some more tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, I was supposed to be mean to her. Okay, I'm gonna reject all of the animals. Just every single one of them. Yep. I'm gonna do it. Not good enough. This cat looks so angry. Is too easily spooked. Tiny my little farms. I rejected them all. Okay, um. <laughs> I'm gonna be the favorite employee. Welcome back, I guess. Pretty good job yesterday. Pretty good. Some of you, and I won't name any names, but you know who you are, have been a little too liberal with approvals. Not me. The whole point, definitely not me. I need to figure out her voice so I can do it properly. I hate to bring this up, but I heard, did you really reject a kitty? Damn straight I did. Oh dear, well, I'm sure you had a good reason. I guess I should get used to this kind of thing. Good luck today, dear. <laughs> Damn straight. Hey, we never really talked earlier. I'm Alan. I'm an asshole. We'll do great together. I don't think I'll be here very long. This is bottom of the barrel stuff. Sincerely bad. Like, really just the worst. You know what I'm saying, yeah? Nope. I love my job. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, good to meet you. Oh, also, I heard about what you did. Not gonna lie, I didn't think you had it in you. Bunch of house pets aren't doing anyone any good. Worthless, really. Whoa. Anyways, glad to be working with someone else competent. See you around. I'm gonna kill you too. Don't worry, I'll reject you as well. <laughs> now, should I keep any of them or should I just reject all of them? Let's see what happens if I just reject all of them. He's gonna, is he gonna be like... All right, some of you have been rejected a little too hard. Also, I'm so pink just from this game. This game is very pink. Scares small children. No, no appeal. Not even worth my time. This dog is too old. I kind of actually don't mind doing this. Wait. Oh no, the rejected ones. I was like, wait, the the because the approved ones go forward and they become people, but no, the rejected ones become people. Oh. Oh no, I don't feel so good about doing it. Oh, hello dear. Sorry, but I'm a little down today. I heard that Alan has been rejecting all of his animals. <laughs> me too! I just do not agree with that, but he does what he what, does not want to listen to me. He called me. Well, dear, he said I'm an out of touch. Can you believe it? Yes! Goodness! Dear, I thought you were kind. I think maybe you do not mean it. But even being rude only to get a reaction is very cruel. Also, I'm so sorry, Martha. I'm not proud of it, but I rejected an animal, not a cat, of course. It's just a fish, the natural enemy of cats, but still, it does not feel good. Not at all. Dear, I know we have our instructions, but I do not think you should be rejecting cats. I just do not think it's right. And cats are very intelligent creatures, you know. In some ways, a cat is smarter than you or me. With you, it is maybe a lot of ways smarter. <laughs> oh, so! Oh my god! Do you understand now? Do you promise to approve the cats? No. Bitch, get out of here! <laughs> oh, I guess that was a hard promise to make, but I think maybe you could have tried. Oh, oh my god, I felt so bad about this. Well, I guess I will see you later. I'm so sorry. How's it going? I heard you sent the family dog to the farm. Haha, <laughs> right on. Oh my god, I think it was old. Obvious choice for rejection, but not everyone would have done it. Anyways, props. I've been getting rid of pretty much all my animals. Seriously, I've got no tolerance for useless things. When I was just a kid, I had a pet frog. Aha! I knew there was something about a frog with him because of the frog. Yeah. I spent so much time taking care of that thing, and even read, I'd even read stories before bed. I'd sit there and just read to it out loud. Just me and my frog. Every night. I was so alone! <laughs> but one day I realized something. I was wasting my life. Instead of reading to that frog, I could have been, I don't know, doing homework or something. I could have been learning a new skill. Improving myself. You know, all the time I spent with it. What was the point? To enjoy your life. <laughs> so you know what I did? Flushed it! Oh my god! Flushed it. I flushed my frog. I don't know if I'd be here otherwise. Here with this job, I mean, you'd still be talking to that frog. <laughs> I mean, I love this job, but I'm gonna do it well. See you around. See, that's, uh, some people are like that, where they're like, all right, I hate my job, but I'm gonna do it well. Even if it's like an awful job. It's like, why bother? Just go get a new job. <laughs> 
All right, I'm gonna, I gotta kill this dog too. Gotta kill all the dogs. Too big. They can get more. Dog is evil! Exclamation, multiple exclamation points. I appreciate you rejecting the big dog. It was def definitely a large animal. Maybe even the largest. The largest animal ever. It's good to know someone was listening. So, um, yeah, good job. Thank you. I am such a good employee, though in the future, well, no, never mind. He, he's like, well, you're a good employee, but you're kind of evil. <laughs> oh, oh dear, that poor dog. Was it really the least useful animal? I'm not really a dog woman, but... <laughs> yeah, except you're literally a dog woman. <laughs> well, I think it's it made its owners happy. This job is not what I thought it would be. I'm trying my best to be fair to these animals, but it's not very easy. The boss is giving us lots of instructions. Instructions I do not always agree with. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Poor Martha. She's basically at the end of her life. This is so mean. She's ancient, so old. Like, just look at her. She's not even that old. And she's a dog, so she's like... Things are weird. Yikes. And yet, this is where everything's led for her. Man, yeah, real happy that's not me. Like I said, I don't think I'll be here long. Oh, you won't be. <laughs> You'll probably make it out of here too. You're good at this, I can tell. Oh man, so like, what's with all these stacks? No, no, not one good animal of the bunch, right? They said this job would be tough, morally speaking, of course. Psh, but wow, yeah, so far it just really isn't. Well, see ya. <laughs> and then I'm gonna betray him because I just reject everything. All of these cats need to die. Martha's gonna be really mad. Or really sad. She doesn't get mad, I feel like. She just gets sad. But, I mean, they're a family, so the whole family's gotta go. <laughs> I feel so terrible. Its eyes are too big. <laughs> Has not hit puberty. It's taking too long. <laughs> Is there even a puberty for cats? There must be. Is too cocky. Yeah, that's right. Too cocky. Too confident. This cat is a coward. Like the cowardly lion. Too old. <laughs> and I'm a monster. <laughs> Why are you still talking talking to me? I'm a horrible person. By the way, dear, you did something bad. Very bad. I thought that I would feel angry. And I do. Oh, but mostly I'm sad. I knew she would be. There was no point to what you did. You did not even leave one cat. I do not want to talk right now. I'm the worst. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not exactly sure what to expect, but anything's better than doing paperwork all day. Honestly, I'm pumped about it. Very excited. Thrilled. This is the beginning of good things for me. I'm gonna kill him. I can feel it. Oh, oh by the way, I heard about your last animal stack. Except if I reject him, he's already been rejected and turned into a man dog. So I don't know what that's actually gonna do for him. I heard about your last edible stack. You've figured it out, haven't you? Heh. <laughs> There's all sorts of ways to screw up here. But you can't go wrong with that reject- with just rejecting them all. Space is freed up. Quarters are met. Not to mention, it makes the job easier. Glad to see I'm not the only one on top of things. Oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's gonna happen to you, but it's gonna be bad. It's too stupid to realize you shouldn't eat sticks, you dummy. <laughs> Sad dog. Too sad. But if I if I reject him for doing his job, I feel like there's no other way I can get another ending, another ending unless I actually reject him. So yeah, I think I'm gonna reject him. Cause like I was gonna say, if he's doing his job and then I reject him, that's basically rejecting myself as well. Cause I'm doing my job. <laughs> but no appeal, no appeal, no approval. What's gonna happen now? I don't know. I'm still just gonna put whipping good for this, but I'm gonna reject it. <laughs> It'll die anyways. Too squawky. I don't think that's a word and he's gonna get mad at me, so too much squawking. Ta-da! I just killed Alan. Believe it or not, they're making documentaries. So in order to present us all in the best possible light, I'm asking you, telling you to approve all of your animals today, especially you. You've been ruthless since day one. It's, um, well, it's a little terrifying, to be honest. A little intimidating. We definitely don't need the public to see that side of us. Oh, interesting. That adds a whole new level. If the public sees me rejecting everything, I might just get fired. Well, side of you, I guess. Though your behavior reflects on me. So it's kind of my side as well. Look, let's just wipe both of our sides clean of this, okay? At least for today. Understood? This is the asshole run, let's be no. Okay, well, if you want to get fired that badly, there's not much I can do to stop you. 
Um, oh, and an announcement before you start your day. Okay. This seems that Alan is no longer with us. Everything's fine, but... Well, there was an issue in the cages. Just a slight mix-up. It's, a uh, Nothing too much to worry about. But, well, that's what's going on. He was a good employee. A good boy. <laughs> He'll be missed. Okay, and I have something to say to you. Um, well, um... I didn't really think I needed to explain this, but... Well, when you comment on forums, you should, um, you should try to spell things correctly. He didn't like squawking. Squawking was a word, damn it. I mean, I know mistakes happen, but your job is kind of not to make mistakes, and you made some with that last batch. Maybe you don't think spelling is important, but you're a professional now. So, uh, please try to act like it. Just a warning this time. But if this happens again, I'll have to give you a strike. The squawking is a word. Oh dear, what could have happened to Alan? I killed him. <laughs> I did not like him much, but this is very concerning. Dear, I told you I had heard bad things about that place. I hope the boss does not ask me to go there. I'm a little worn down, dear. This documentary will be very exciting, though I think- I still don't have any strikes, which means I can reject everything when this documentary comes up. Dear, we need to talk. That cat you rejected, I know it was an outside cat. And I know there are many red prejudices against such cats, but dear, all cats should be seen as equals. No cat is better than any other. <laughs> She's so pure. <laughs> Poor Martha. Even if a cat is mostly outside and gets very dirty, that cat is still worth loving. I hope you understand. Stand. I hope you hope you understand. <laughs> Marla, where did you get that exotic accent? Dog is too fat. It's a fat dog. I'm gonna reject. I'm gonna reject everything. Teeth are too big. Useless. Pathetic. She's clearly dead. <laughs> I finally. I want to see what happens about this bird when I finally reject it. This dog deserves better. Ta-da! Now what's gonna happen? Well. D-Day has come and gone. That's Doc Day, by the way. Documentary Day. Because they were filming a documentary. And documentary starts with a D. And so does D- No, no I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways, actually, that was more of a so does this D joke. But I went to B's nuts instead. You know, it's all good. It's all good. It all starts with D. I'm going to need you all to reject everything today. I can do that. No exceptions. You. I'm trying to maintain my composure. I really am. You clearly have no respect for documentaries. I mean, look at that bird you rejected. The dead bird. I know it's easy to look at a dead bird and say, this bird is dead, it's not useful. But even a dead bird can be useful, did you know? <laughs> All I can think about is the sketch, the Monty Python sketch. Polly! Polly, Polly Parrot! And slams him on the desk. And it put dead blah blah blah. For example, that dead bird could have stopped me from having to yell at you. Look. You have to help me out here. This is my job. I mean, it's yours too, but you can do what you want with that. But this reflects badly on me. It took me a long time to get this position. I've made- I've make- I've make sacrifices. I've put in my time. And you're just here goofing around. What have you done with your life, huh? Huh? If I lose this job... Well, um... Obviously, you're getting a strike for this. Yep. Yeah. This is only your first strike, so don't worry too much. Haha! -ha! Okay. But if you get three, you're done. Maybe all of our animals will be bad today. That is possible, right, dear? No! Oh, I suppose you're right. There's just not that many bad animals. Not that many at all. Also, I was hoping not to have to bring this up, but why? Dear, this was the, this was the one time you had an excuse. You were allowed to approve all the animals, but you still did not. You are bloodthirsty, and you rejected a cat. You had no right. I do not want to hear any excuses, dear. There is nothing you can say. Not even Alan is... Was... Not even Alan was this cruel, dear. <laughs> this is getting dramatic. I'm just gonna give you a big old nope. Nope. Get on out of here. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if nope is considered... Wait, 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 wait. Nope might be considered not English, proper spelling or whatever. I do not like this dog. There you go. Forgets things too much. Screw you, Martha! <laughs> this cat has evil eyes. Ready? You ready for it? Ready? Watch. Watch. Ready? It's staring into my soul. <sighs> she is gonna freak the fuck out. I'm a horrible person. I just rejected Martha's cat. Willingly looked at me funny. <laughs> this place is too much water. It's time for the explosion. Mindy is sick again. And I get to go to the cages. Good old Mindy. She's really been sick a lot recently. Suspicious. Well, Alan took over last time. And, um, well, he's not with us anymore, so it's your turn. <laughs> You'll take over for Mindy today. Just head down to the cages. I'll follow you down a bit with instructions. All right, dear. I know you were only doing your job, but... 
I just cannot look at you right now. You could have saved her. It was a lot to ask of you, but I still hoped. Oh my god! I am the worst person in the world. I feel so bad. I'm sorry, Martha. I, mean, I know it's the asshole run, but Jesus Christ. Welcome to the cages. You're probably wondering where all the actual cages are. Rest assured, there are definitely some cages here, but they're behind a few more doors. You'll see them soon. But first, I'm sure you have a few questions. Maybe you want to ask what this place is. Nah. Really? You're not curious? Well, you at least want to know what you'll be doing here, right? Nah. I'm not sure I believe you. You don't even want to know why I'm asking you these questions? Nah. You're really boring. Look, I'm just gonna tell you anyways, and there isn't much you can do about it. You've been part of a little experiment. Well, I guess it's more of a big experiment. Blah 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 blah. You guys have seen this a bajillion times. Here I have a few questions, then I'll explain everything. I'll do the questions and then we'll see. If he explains it all, I'll skip. Have you noticed anything odd during your time here? Nope. Hmm, interesting. Next question. Is the goal of this organization clear to you? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let me just mark that down. Third question. Would you describe everyone here as normal? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Hmm, well, I think we're just about done here. Thanks very much for your time. Oh, the experiment I mentioned earlier. Don't worry too much about it. This was just a standard poll. Basic questionnaire. Yeah, we go through this procedure with everyone. Everything's good. You can go home for the day. Mindy. What's Mindy? Mindy? Oh, yes. Oh, Mindy. So as it turns out, she finished all the work before getting sick. All the work here is done. There's no more. So you can just go. Oh, but hold up for a sec. I just want to say you've been a good employee. You haven't caused much trouble. This boat ain't rocking. Okay, so we're back to this thing. So even with the asshole route, it's still pretty much the same ending. I heard you have a dog. I think I can pull a few strings. That dog will be just fine. I don't think you need to worry. Great! No problem. Happy to do it. Keep up the good work out there. And then it's just gonna parade all of the animals that I killed across the screen. That's gonna take forever because it's literally everything and everyone because Alan is included. Oh boy, look at all of all of these animals that I just straight up I killed them. Killed them all. They're all now human human dog people. Dog humans. Look at that family of cats that I killed. All those cats that made Martha so sad. Hey, it's Alan. Hey, Alan. Oh wait, you can't hear me because you're dead. <laughs> Bye. Have fun in the afterlife. Hello, all these animals that I just destroyed, ruined uh, many many lives. This is what being a supervillain feels like. Yep, yep. And my dog is the only one that ever got approved. <laughs> the end. <laughs> wow. Wow, I feel like I'm giant just dickhead. Because I am, because I rejected all of the animals. There you have it. There's, uh, there's the asshole route. And the other routes, the other endings. I guess that's all the endings, maybe? It seems like that's all the endings, because it just kind of loops back at the end with the cages there. There's probably- you can mix and match with the, the things. Obviously, I didn't do all of the different ways that you can answer questions. I just did, you know, my way and then, the, like, the asshole route, basically. So, if you guys want to play for yourselves, definitely, definitely do it. I would recommend it if you want to play and uh, do your own little- you know, make your own little conversations happen. There might be more conversations that I missed, actually, in this game. So definitely try it out for yourselves. So I'll link it down in the description below if you want to do that. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I see you over there. Come in my line of fire. Wait, it'll happen. Boom, bitch. <laughs> Stop being a giant a anus. And come over here. Get out of my way. I'm inside of you. I need to go, uh, go scrub myself, scrub myself down, get myself clean of this horrible, terrible thing I did.